Hello and welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Lauren, this is Emily. We're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors and today we're working with Pom Wonderful to share a fun and festive brownie recipe. That's right, Lauren. Today we are making Pom Wonderful Bittersweet Mexican Brownies. They are absolutely delicious and I can't wait to jump right in. Yeah, so let's get started. So on um, the first step we have a, um, We've got a pan here going, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add Palm Wonderful 100% juice. Got it nice and hot, which is perfect. And then we're adding some pitted dates to this as well. There we go. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna let this heat up for about a minute. Um, this is gonna help soften up the dates a little bit since we're gonna be blending them into our brownie recipe, um, and also help that pomegranate juice just reduce a little bit, bring out that natural sweetness. And this gives us a great opportunity to talk about kind of the feature of this brownie recipe, our Palm Wonderful 100% pomegranate juice. Yes, we love Palm Wonderful 100% pomegranate juice for lots of reasons. Um, number one, because it's a little bit sweet, it's a little bit tart, and it's a whole lot crazy healthy. Um, and what's interesting about Palm Wonderful is that they grow, they hand pick, and then they actually press their own pomegranates into the juice, which is really cool. I think that's awesome. And they're also packed with that nutrition. They're uh, full of antioxidants and potassium. And so they're a really great nutritious option. Yes, and we love the, the bottles of the pomegranate juice. They're, they're a little bit different. I'm sure maybe you've noticed that in the store before yes. when you see them. And what's interesting is that each eight ounce bottle contains two whole pomegranates oh. that have been pressed. So that's the juice of two whole pomegranates. Sure. Dang, I didn't know this that. looks like it's probably good now. They look softened up a little bit. So I'm gonna put this here, Emily, since oh, you're yes. gonna be adding that. Turn our All right, so we're gonna add this off. pomegranate juice and dates carefully into our food processor. All right this back down. And then we have to add this oil oh, too. Yep. Today Great. we're using canola oil, but you could definitely use avocado oil or grapeseed oil, um, depending on what you have at home. Perfect. Pop this on. We'll give this a mix. While Emily is doing that, that looks good. I'm gonna get started on our next mixture. So we're, we have three eggs. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon here, a little bit of cayenne vanilla extract, and then a little bit of sea salt, and I'm just gonna whisk this together. And while Lauren's mixing that, I'm gonna go ahead and add our next ingredient. We're just using some cocoa powder, essential ingredient in our brownies. And if you wanted to make these kind of an extra dark cocoa powder, um, extra dark brownie, you could use a dark chocolate yes. cocoa powder, um, which is a really nice addition. Okay. So we're gonna blend this up again. Already starting to look like that delicious brownie batter. Perfect. Right. So I'm gonna give this to you. Right. Toss in next. Perfect. I'm just gonna blend this up again. I love that everything just goes right in here. It just makes it a lot easier for cleanup. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Give this a scrape around the edges before we add our last ingredient. So today we're using um, gluten-free flour, um, but if you don't need to eat gluten-free, you could definitely use like a whole wheat pastry flour. Um, that would work out really nicely in this recipe. All right. Give this one last blend. All right. I think this is all ready. Perfect. So um, we're gonna be pouring this in the batter into our pan. And actually what we did is we took a little bit of parchment paper and put it in our pan to make it really easy to take it out of the oven and slice it up. Mm. Get all of this Smells in here. so good. It's that does. pomegranate juice. It's very fragrant. Yes. Mm, very yum. chocolatey. All right. 
bread. So I'm going to stick this in our oven. It's been preheating to 375. This is going to cook for just about 15 minutes. Perfect. And I love this recipe because it is sweetened with 100% natural sweetness um, from the pomegranate juice, that 100% pomegranate juice, as well as the dates. So it's a really great uh, better for us holiday option. Yes, and you could, um, as you can see, they're really dense, they're really dark, they look delicious, they really fudgy. Um, and you could, an optional step would be to garnish with fresh pomegranate arils if you have those. Um, but otherwise, you can dig right in, which, which is what let's we're do gonna it. do. <laughs> Yum. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Mm. They're so dense and just really chocolatey and decadent. I love that little bit of heat too at the end. Absolutely. We hope you give this festive brownie recipe a try. And for more holiday recipe ideas and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit festfoods.com slash holidays.